Yeah, we're, we're delighted. Um, you know, we, we left to Bradley, oh, maybe 12 months ago. Um, we're aware of his Welsh connections and, and the route that he's taken, but he, at that stage, wanted to keep building his game at Ulster. But obviously the um, opportunity for him with Wales was was a key one. And, and then obviously after the back of that, to, co to continue to put pressure on Welsh selection, he needed to be playing in Wales. So we continue with the conversations where we were a year ago. So I'm delighted to be successful with that. And I think he's, uh, his ambition to be successful with Wales is, is a great sort of opportunity for us to be the beneficiaries of. For the right reasons, he was um, very um, keen to you know fulfill his obligations at Ulster when we were talking to him. He felt they'd discovered him, he felt they'd developed him and, and he wanted to give it another year. I think I, there was no doubt that the, the Welsh opportunity just sort of highlighted if he wanted to continue to be um, a, an option at, at senior level for Wales, he had to be playing in Wales. So I, I think before that he was about building his game, he was about continuing to improve but then to get that window was probably did exaggerate his decision making. We've seen he's a, he's a fantastic ball player, um, you know his ability and, and dynamism around uh, in the loose is, is fantastic. He's, you know, I, I think the areas <laughs> that he, he wants to continue to keep pushing on as his set piece. Um, but to have a dynamic ball carrier like that within the team will, will be a huge benefit. I was keen to get Ross back in the environment of play and it's been significant time loss for us. And, you know, it's a huge part of our energy and emotion comes from Ross and, and uh, not having him as, as certainly, um, you know, highlighted the loss that he is within the side. So we just want to get him back playing, let's, you know, it's been a significant injury. You can see how important he is to the national scene that they'll bring him straight back in. Um, and this is about getting him some game time and then we'll assess off the back in conjunction with Wayne is what's the best route forward. Well, that is, you know, that's for Wayne to, to decide is, is at the moment he hasn't played a huge amount of rugby. We're keen to get him out on the field and, and hopefully uh, we see a refreshed Ross and, and then Wayne can make those decisions post uh, post the weekend. Well, I thought they were excellent at the sort of contestable side of the game. I think we wouldn't expect anything else with Paul Gustav behind. I think they strangled us a little bit in terms of high ball and contest on the ground. Um, and for us to, to try and get away from that, we need to be better in those areas because we couldn't get into the game that we wanted to, to, to play. So very much our focus has been on, on being able to achieve that to be able to move them around a little bit more. So if we can't control the breakdown, then we won't be able to impose a game on them. You know, that we, we recognise all Italian sides are big up front, and if we can't keep the ball moving, you know, it was our lowest ball in place um, game across the season, and that just suits the, the, the big, bigger side. So we've got to increase the pace of the game. We, to do that, we've got to control the breakdown. And, you know, if we can do that, hopefully we can get a little bit more movement into the game.